Hello everyone, and welcome back to day 96 of Stardew Valley. Oh, I just yawned so badly that are, there are just tears in the corner of my eyes. And even just talking about yawning really, really makes me want to yawn. And it also kinda wants to make me want to go to bed since I think I'm pretty tired. Like, not in a way of I can just fall asleep if I close my eyes, but definitely in a way of, yeah, maybe I should go to bed soon, maybe, perhaps, mm -mm, who knows, certainly not I. So yeah, since I was thinking, since I talked about uh, Pokemon in the episode two days ago, I thought, hey, why wouldn't I also talk about its counterpart? Oh, well, not really counterpart, but it's something that gets, um, uh, what's the word? Gets compared to Pokemon a lot, which is Digimon. And let me tell you, okay, my personal opinion is they're both good in their own rights. And also, I think they got compared again when the... Uh, Mega Evolutions came out and sure, when it comes to design they look a little bit more similar, but there are still really some differences in the series. Like, uh, like 10 years ago when I started high school, I just, I played the shit out of Digimon World DS. Like, I really, really, really liked it. I even had like an entire just strategy just so I could get all of the starter Digimon. Because like you also had these uh, special codes which could give you certain Digimon. Like you could get a uh, pixel art Agumon uh, I think. I'm not sure what my strategy was but I do know that it was pretty smart, but yeah, um, not, 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 not important, I guess. Um, but even as a kid, like, I loved Digimon so much that I wanted to write fanfics about it. And since I only had a computer in the living room and I couldn't always just get on that computer, I decided to just actually make a word document. Document. Oh, okay. This this will have to wait. Oh, you brought the cave carrots. Thank you so much, Miss Rose. Oh, hey, you noticed. Here you go. This looks great. I almost want to eat it myself. Almost. Why wouldn't you? I hope it wasn't too much trouble. I really do appreciate it. Oh, is that all? Yeah, I like your bow, it's cute. Thanks again for helping me out. And my goat say thanks too. But anyway, okay, I would I had made this word document and in it I would just place Pictures of Digimon, okay, and their evolutionary line or Digivolution Di Digivolutionary is that a word? No, no, not not important either. But like I had just placed the lines and the attacks that the Digimon had just copied straight off the wiki and I would print those pages out so I always had a description of their attacks and a, a, a picture of them so I could use that as a reference for the fanfics that I wrote instead of having to constantly look it up on the computer because obviously I I wanted to write on paper because who 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 doesn't do that but like I I just I couldn't go to to our living room at 11 p.m. at night just to write some Digimon fanfiction. No, I couldn't. And well, the fanfiction was pretty bad, I think, and also 
not really longer than one page per fanfic just because I always stopped writing. Like, I had it with every piece of fanfiction that I wrote, okay? Like, I wrote fucking Beyblade fanfiction that was like two pages long and that was it. Also a lot of Pokemon fanfiction. Yeah, yeah, I wrote a lot. A lot, a lot of Pokemon fanfiction. But Digimon fanfiction, that, that was where I actually did research. And although the research was pretty bad because just judging by a lot of names from the attacks you I couldn't really make out what they meant, especially since my English was not that great so I just had to guess what certain words mean or just put it in a translator. But you know, I just really really wanted to make a good fanfic that probably I would only read. But the funny thing is, when I was a kid I actually thought that if I made a really, really well written Pokemon fanfic that maybe if I sent it to Nintendo that they would actually just decide to publish it and that it would actually be something that others would also read. Which is like a, s a silly yeah. idea but you know, maybe not as silly after all, if you consider that right now there are actually published Minecraft books, like story books. Like, isn't isn't that wild? Just, I mean, in, in a good way, like, they wrote about something that they loved and in return they could publish the book. But like, think about it, wouldn't it be wild? If you just send your fanfic to a publisher or like the, the writer of the actual, the actual media, whoa, I can't even talk, and they were just like, whoa, this is a really good piece of fanfiction, we are going to publish it. Like, I mean, w wouldn't that be your child's dream? Or the dream that you had when you were a child? Wouldn't something like that just be great to just, you know, have your stuff actually published while writing or creating something that you love? Like, I would have been so, so happy if something like that happened. Do I have a plum in the community center? But even right now, I still kinda... You know, I I want to create something that's cool, that's, well, not really necessarily cool, but that's just what I call it, I guess, because saying I want to create something cool automatically just makes it like 10 times more lame. <laughs> but, I don't know, I want to be able to create something that others are also able to enjoy and that will leave something with someone, I mean with a thought like, whoa, I really enjoyed reading this or just, you know, something similar. Like I've had a story idea in my head for like a while and with that I mean an original story idea and not a fanfic idea. And. I'm not sure why, but I just haven't been able to get around to actually writing it. Like, I have have planned it out for a, a part of it, not all of it, but like a general idea of the story and what I want to achieve with it and where the storyline is heading and what will the whoa 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 cool super cool plot twist be? Which makes it sound lame again. Like it's this this idea of dreams and nightmares that are uh, manifesting as monsters and the dreams as superpowers I guess. And I don't know I just want to create something that just leaves a mark I guess 
I don't know, does that sound weird to want to create something that, you know, that others can also see and that makes them think, whoa, this is something that is good or just something that they enjoy. Because honestly, that's just, that's just something that I, I really want to do. I want to make something that not only I enjoy, but that others can also enjoy. Is that weird? I don't know. I mean, that's also something that I am trying to do with my videos. Just, I, I want to try to make something that others can also enjoy. I mean, smiling is something that I think is pretty important. Just being able to laugh and enjoy yourself, because honestly, a lot about the world right now sucks. A lot, so even smiling for a little bit just in between might make it a little bit less bad at some times maybe. Which doesn't take away how bad it still is, but it may make the pain a little bit lighter. I don't know, does that make sense? Who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching today's episode, I guess. Um, yeah, that's uh, this is all that I wanted to say, so I guess I'll just leave it for here and uh, go to sleep soon before my eyes just fall shut or I might have to yawn again. Oh no, even talking about yawning is already enough to make me yawn. Alright, thanks for watching and good night. <laughs>